Hey guys, on today's video, I'm going to teach you how to download and install Suitcase Fusion 7. So here it is. And the website that you guys want to go to is obviously the official website. So here is it's what you guys are supposed to type in. Now, this will also be in the description. So you can just click and that's it. So once you're there, you guys will see this. Okay, so you guys want to see to your left hand side, you guys are going to see latest installers. Here's Mac. So I'm going to teach you how to install a Mac, but here you can also download for Windows and iOS. Well, if you're going to download iOS, I'll just do it for my phone directly and not go through this. However, you can. Okay, so um, all you guys have to do is actually click on it and then it starts downloading. That easy. Same thing for Windows. Click on it, it starts downloading. So right now I'm in Mac, so the Windows will not work. And um, I actually already downloaded it, so it's right here. So since I, I clicked on both of these, they're downloading right now. I'm just gonna stop this, stop this. And I'm gonna just install the one that I already uh, downloaded first of all. So it's a package file. It's uh, same thing as a DMG. So you guys have to do is double click on it from there. Uh, just a quick warning. I do have Suitcase Fusion, the older version on here, um, but that shouldn't get in my way. I, this should merge with my older version and I shouldn't have any problems installing this. Um, we'll see, but technically we're not supposed to. So Macintosh HD install, I'm gonna install software. Do I need any passwords, anything? No, do you need a serial number right now? No, you can just install this. You guys can do the trial first and then buy it, or you guys can buy it right away. It's your choice. Um, I always suggest just doing a trial just to see whether it works or not. Right now with the latest OS, I can tell you that it, wor it works and it works just fine, very smooth. However, if you have an older version, so while this is installing, I'm just gonna tell you guys. So here's the older version, where's my older version? So your case Fusion 5. So I have been working with it, but it doesn't always work correctly. Um, but yeah, that's one of the reasons why you guys want to download the latest because it works the best. Okay. The other ones are kind of glitchy and yeah, they're not updated and, and meant for this new OS Sierra, right? So we're just going to close this, move to trash. We're just moving the installer to trash, not the actual program. So don't worry about that. Once we have that installed, we can just go into launch pad or your apps right here in your finder, whichever guy, way you guys want to right now. This is the way I want to, so I can just search for it quickly. Um, I should be able to see it right here. So there we go. So your case fusion, let's just click on it. It's gonna open up. So right now, what I want to do is create a backup and perform the upgrade. This is because I had the older version and it's always good to create a backup. So I would definitely do that. Let's just leave that in documents. That's fine. And there we go. So right now it's that that's about it. That's the installation process. Uh, for most of you, this is your first time downloading this, so you won't have to go through this process. Now I do have more than six hundred thousand fonts, so this will take a while. Um, but that's that's about it for this video. I be taught you how to install it, download it, and as you can see, it's pretty simple. From there, you guys can just drag and drop any fonts that you have onto the program. It works exactly the same as if you guys had the older version, it works the same way. So you guys can just drag and drop fonts onto the program, activate them, disactivate them, and manage your fonts that way. You guys can create folders and do a bunch of stuff. Anyways, that's it for this video tutorial. If you guys have questions, comments, you can write them down here below in the comments area. And don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.